Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Europa Universalis 4 El Dorado playthrough of our custom nation, the Kodobos Empire. And, uh, things are going pretty well for us. Not exactly where I would hope we'd be at by this point in the game, but still, going pretty well. We've been harassing Congo, we've got some good vassals, we're spreading the Norse religion all over the place. And we have a glorious little uh, colonial nation, which we will start expanding more soon. That is something I do want to get back to today. Uh, how are these colonies doing? Ooh, excellent. This one's almost done. So I'll move that one to Cameroon. And then when you finish, you will go back overseas. Now, which I had something pointed out to me in the comments on the last video. I am an idiot. I looked at the, uh, the region map mode to ch uh, check out the different regions of the world. And I, no, that's not what decides your colonial nation. I completely forgot that, oh yeah, it's that one. There's a colonial region map mode. And yeah, so I won't have another new colonial country. It's all Brazil, baby. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more exploring to find more land to colonize because I don't want to just have colonial Brazil, I mean, mainly because I don't want it to get too powerful on its own. Uh, but yes, plus I'd like to have a second colonial nation, so I think maybe once we uh, go over here. So yeah, I, want, I just need to do a little bit more discovery, a little bit more exploration of Terra Incognita. And we should be good on that. But yeah, I completely forgot that the... I, I, I just switched them up. I was thinking, oh yeah, region map mode. Surely that's where the colonial nations are. Nope. Nope, colonial region. But, oh well, c'est la vie. My favorite one's the religion one. Ah, look at all the glorious Norse. Though, I'm kind of annoyed. How are they spreading Norse so quickly through their shamanist kingdoms when it's going to take me 110 freaking months to do this? <laughs> I don't want to do it yet. We're gonna I'm gonna hold off on converting them mainly because we've got 70% unrest there at the moment so and right now the unrest is at zero so I'm gonna let this kind of sit for a couple of months so hopefully the rebel faction dies out now we also do have these Beninese one. How are you still a thing? 7.5 unrest huh? Huh interesting. I would have thought that that would have died down by now. Hmm. So what is our unrest over here? It's at zero right now. But at negative... Oh, I might be able to move my army out, and it might still be fine. Because if that's the case, I kind of need to do something about these Beninese rebels over here. <laughs> They're at 50%, but let's unpause. Oh, there's one more thing. Oh, Kali self-sustaining. Pause again. Go to. Excellent. Glorious, oh god, you're... There's a lot here, aren't there? Ooh. Okay, so before I do this, there's two more things I wanted to go over at the beginning of the episode here. One, since Portugal got kicked out of Jolof and Jolof was freed once again, um, Portugal's now neutral towards me. They're no longer hostile. They used to be hostile, and that was because when they had Jolof... They wanted all of my provinces over here. So now that they're just back in Arjun, or Arjun, however you say that, all they want is Cape Verde. So they're back to neutral. So I might try and grab them as an ally. That would put me over my diplomatic limit. I'm at four of four right now because of my alliance with Air. But I'm a little bit mad at Air right now because I discovered when I was just curious and poking about Songhai that I could go to war with them. Bonaman wants this province here, so I could go to war to make one of my vassals bigger, but Air won't join, mainly because they're threatened up towards me. They have a threatening attitude towards me, and, well, they're and also accepting would destabilize Air, so, oh, that's, that's also a thing. Oh my, and they're also 29 gold in debt. Ha, huh. man. They're in trouble. Maybe allying with Air wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but yes, yeah, since Air wouldn't join me against Songhai, I would be screwed because it'd be Songhai, Jenny, Molly, and Kong, which is uh, Molly's vassal, which, oh my god, I got so messed up earlier. I saw Kong and kept thinking, wait, Congo? Why would they join? Oh no, there's no O. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, fair enough. But what we need to do, what we need to do, I need to move my soldiers into these provinces and do a mass purge of natives in Cameroon. So yeah, I'm going to move my uh, army off of Luango here real quick. And, oh, native uprising. Oh no, that always happens. Okay, so let's see on the, oh, they're up to 2.2% now. <laughs> okay, you and you. Into Cameroon, my friends, into Cameroon. And kill the natives, and then we're also going to spend a little bit of military power to sort of uh, cull the natives a bit. Hopefully that should all go quite nicely. I mean, we have vast military superiority over them. But yeah, I think a culling would be a good idea uh, because there are just so many natives here, 9,000, and they're very aggressive. I'd have to deal with just tons upon tons of unrest from that. Oh, Thuringia went to war, so I need to combine... Well, let's just grab the big arm. Oh, hello, native uprising. Oh, that's over there. That's fine. So let's just grab my main army here and uh, attack natives for 45 military power. There we go. That should go quite nicely, and I'm wondering how many that is going to destroy. So let's pause again. Oh, it wiped them all out. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. In Gabon, we had like a thousand or something like that left after we did cull them a bit. So it wasn't that big of an issue, but yeah, that, uh, that went poorly. <laughs> oh, well, c'est la vie. I'm still going to send my main army up to Benin. That has far more unrest up there. 4.2. This is only at 1.4 now. So let's send the colonists there. You are almost finished up. Where are my transports? Why do I have a three stack of soldiers there? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm co I'm confused. Okay, where are my transports? My transports are sitting in the water there. What? Why are you sitting? In Did I forget to park them last episode? I must. Oh, oh, I moved my army over here in the last episode to fight this native nation, and they came back split in two. That's why there were some soldiers left there. I completely forgot about that, and I also forgot to put my boat in the harbor. So uh, that's a thing. Okay, remember to move your troops. Uh, Bremen has uh, declared war on Munster. Okay. No real problem for me. They're all the way up there. I don't... Uh, where is Munster even on here? What is this? Oh, hello! Oh, we're called Diplomat from Air. Yeah, I'm trying to make him a little bit more happy towards me because, yeah, the whole threatened attitude is going to be bad for de trying to declare war on other people. Oh, boy. Okay, so 1.6. I really need to take care of this, too. How close are we to our next military tech? Very close. Very close indeed. That makes me very happy. Oh god, was that an English ship? It is. Why are you sitting there, England? What? Are you confused because your country is also red? Did, I, I'm, a, I'm a darker shade of red. You should, you should continue forward. Seriously, why is it? It's just sitting there. Ooh, money. No, I'm going to take the Diplo power. Well, hmm. I really like all that money, but I'm thinking I should take the Diplo power for right now because I'm a little bit behind on my Diplo tax. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to take that. There we go, because I'm kind of at a good point with money right now, which on that note, buildings. Mm, there we go. Let's just build all the temples. Ah, one up there as well. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, I've been uh, reading up the most recent dev diary for the game. Apparently, in the next update, the whole building system is going to change. And I, I'm i not quite sure how I feel about it. Uh, the, in the next update, apparently, they're going to be focusing on allowing you to make strong, small empires. Because right now, the best way to become really powerful in the game is to just become a gigantic blob. Like France tends to do, though. Man, Burgundy is really, really holding their own up there. Uh, but yeah, for the next DLC, they're wanting to focus on allowing you to improve your provinces more so that you can become a strong, small nation. But how they kind of do it, I don't know if I like it, because 
Uh, now, or right now, you have all these buildings. You can build basically anything. You just build them and you go and do it. But your provinces in the next DLC are going to have... Oh god, I don't even remember the word that they use for it. But basically how good of a province it is, is going to depend on... Or is going to tell you how many buildings you have. Or are allowed to build. So one of their examples was on... Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's excellent and pause. Like one of their examples was... I, I think it's one of these provinces up here. It's such a poor, crappy province that you actually can't build anything any buildings on it until you improve the province and improving the province takes monarch points but buildings no longer will take monarch points they'll only take cash and so yeah you might end up with provinces that have you can't do anything you can't even build a, a like an earthen rampart there uh, until you improve the province and make it better and I, I don't know if i'd like that i think you should at least be able to build one building because that's I mean, even in crappy provinces, historically, they would build crap because, well, they were trying to make the place better. And typically, you make places better by building things. And so, oh, I always forget that this island isn't a part of Cameroon. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. Once Cameroon is finished, maybe I'll, pro I'll uh, do that colony. But yeah, let's go to this one. Work our way up the coast. Get the Rio Grande. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how I how I feel about that, how they're going to work the DLC so far. I mean, it was like the first dev diary for it, so who knows how it'll pan out in the end. But yeah, at the t for the time being... Oh, hello, Colonial Rush. Oh my god, yes! More settlers. That is beautiful. But yeah, the whole idea that you could have provinces that are essentially useless. You, you can't do anything with them until you spend a crap load of points to make them better. I uh, I don't know if I like that. And apparently, you know, uh, then people were talking about, well, if you were a giant nation, couldn't you just become even more powerful by making all your provinces better? Apparently, it becomes more... The more provinces you make better, the more expensive it becomes overall. So you can't be a giant nation improving all of your provinces it would be in it wouldn't be very feasible at least that's how it appeared to be again not 100 percent on that but we'll we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes all right we'll send those colonists there move into rio grande man yeah, we'll have to see how that turns out we won of course it's a tiny little thing and you Oh, yes, my uh, exploration ship. I wanted to do something with you. Let's go. Cape of Africa, no. Explore the waste of Amazonas. Waters of... Bra or waters of Amazonas. Waters of Brazil. Waters of Sevilla. Ivory Coast. Let's do this one. And that'll let them go over that way again. Which I'd like to see more. Potentially go into the Caribbean. Okay. We well, should probably also do some exploration down this way. It would be good as well. Okay. And then that's... That's all they got. <laughs> oh, and he... Oh, oh, no, he's still going. He's still going. Okay. I was about to say, he's just going to stop there. That's doesn't seem like a very good mission. But fair enough, fair enough. Okay, new exploits. We got the Guiana Coast. <gasps> Is that Portuguese up there? Oh no, the Portuguese have been going to the New World. Maybe, maybe. I mean, it looks like the Portuguese colors. But yeah, that's interesting. We got some land stuff over here previously. Oh yay, you found ocean. Oh <laughs> uh, boy, yeah, we found some stuff. I'm guessing because of the water here, the water kind of goes into all of this. So I guess that makes sense for that. But still, that's a little annoying. I was hoping we might get some of the coastline. You, rebel faction! Why aren't you going away? I've I've been... You're at 1%. Come on! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Exploration finished of Amazonas. He is heading back. Lovely. Once he's in port. Uh, Well, they declared war on an enemy, but they didn't call me into war with them. Interesting. I see how it is, Air. I see how it is. Trying to brush me aside. Damn it, they're going to become bigger. 
Oh god, I need to go to war with Song High and have them join me. <laughs> have fun fighting their rebels. Avignon, blah blah blah, okay. You. Oh, no, no, not not you, you. There we go. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Yes, Caribbean, go. Do that, that should be a fun, nice mission. That'll take them up here a good deal, hopefully. So yeah, that should be good. Ah ha ha, beautiful, look at all the red. Our name's gotten bigger now that we have Cameroon. Ah, it makes me happy. New exploits! Yay, the Windward Isles. Islands. Yeah, I'm thinking that's Portugal up here. I mean, look at all that green. Damn. Damn. I was really hoping. I was really hoping they wouldn't be... Co that's actually surprising that they've been colonizing that much this early. Normally, normally whenever I play this game, the colonial powers don't tend to reach the Americas until a little bit past now, like maybe a two or three decades from now in the game. I mean, I know in the real world they were there much, much sooner. But uh, in EU4, they tend to be a lot slower on their colonizing. Aha! Military tech! There we go. We now get new soldiers. Pike infantry. Oh, it makes me happy. There we go. And then the next military tech level, we get a new cavalry and a new cannon. But I'm going to slow down a bit on that. I'm, I'm going to take these first two ideas uh, on the quality tree so that we get faster morale recovery and also infantry combat ability. So that should be good. Oh, God, it's more green. Ooh, new tech. Hey, Diplo tech. We, we needed that. So that's more trade range, etc. Oh, the embassy. Oh, we need this. Yes, I cannot wait to get the next level of Diplotech. That should be good. Getting some good exploits out here. Prestige still could do some do with some work. Merchant suffering. Uh, I'll lose the Diplo power. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't want the absent merchant. Yeah, let's lose the 10 Diplo power. Oh, great. Slaves in Cameroon. Just what I wanted. Would have been nice if it was gold. That would have been great. The Jamaica Channel. That's a thing. <laughs> Never really really thought about the names of the seas, etc. over here. Oh, look at that trade node. It's beautiful. It's just trade everywhere. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm going to have to find out who is up here. Portugal, I'm guessing, considering there's a Portuguese ship. Damn. Portugal, man. I thought we were friends. Well, well, you're not hostile towards me anymore. That's a thing. So <laughs> that's a positive. Let's actually improve our relations with you. And I'm thinking insult Songhai. That might be good. Maybe we can goad them into war. Oh, whoa. Messina. Hold on. Hold on. Bahama Banks. Light. Nicely. Nice. Nicely done. Messina's actually taking some things. Interesting. Oh, no one came in with their war against the... Oh, hold on. I know. So Jenny is... Jenny's the one at war. With Messina. Hmm. So why is he, why, why is he on Songhai 1? I mean, it doesn't look like Songhai's in the war. Oh, screw it. <laughs> Alrighty. Where's my ship? Oh boy, he's, he's all the way up in the Gulf Coast. Oh man, nice. How are you doing? You're still 100% impressive. Huh. I would have thought you'd be suffering some uh, decent uh, attrition. There's the word. Attrition by now. He's doing some nice discoveries. I'll have him go south next. We'll have him do Brazil. How's our unrest here? It's 0 0.4. Hasn't gone above 80. It stayed there quite nicely for a while. The Benin one hasn't really increased in a while either. Hungary, war with Bosnia. That'll go nicely. Oh, uh, yeah. I need to build more ships. How's my economy doing at the moment? 
Uh, da, 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 da. Economy tab, 3.25. Lovely. Ah, oh, it's just beautiful. All those glorious temples. Should also start building some marketplaces. Ooh, our docks. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Our, our leaders died. <gasps> but a better one has arrived. Yay. Look at that. 444. Four, four. The last guy was, what, 334, three, I think? So, oh, well, we lost some stability. C'est la vie. Oh, God, our air kind of sucks, though. But we have a good leader for now. That makes me happy. And we get to choose a new deity. Oh, no, cancel. Wrong button. <laughs> okay. Do I want to change it? Hmm. I'm kind of intrigued by this, you know, build cost and tech cost going down. But no, no, I like my national tax modifier and national manpower modifier. Ah, Freya, you're wonderful. There we go. Select that again. Oh my god, it's gone up. It was 101 months. Now it's 208 months. The crap. What the crap? How? How? How has that gone up? Oh my god, I'm never going to be able to get that place. I honestly don't understand that. Congo's been just converting their people left and right and from shamanist over to Norse. They have one shamanist province left. They have successfully done all the others. Oh, no, there's two shamanist provinces left. They've done that in less time, all of those provinces, than what it would take me just for this one. How does that make any damn sense whatsoever? I mean, I don't want to actually click it okay for it because it's it's going to take so long. It's going to drain money, cause unrest. I, you know, I'd rather honestly kind of wait until we get up to Admin Tech 10 and take the religious ideas, which I do want to do because I do want to spread the Norse religion more. But yeah, that's, uh, ooh, the hell. I honestly don't understand that. I've always hated the, you know, conversion system in this game. It's never made sense to me. That's why I typically avoid it, but I kind of want to do a bit of a religious playthrough on this one because we're Norse. We, we got to spread the Norse religion. Get payback for those crazy Catholics and, you know, destroying the Norse faith up in this area. We fled. We fled the oppression. Now we become the oppressors. Wait, that's not a good thing. <laughs> but it's our thing. And, yeah, it should be fun. So, oh, Portugal. Improved relations. Excellent. Recall our diplomat. Where's our ship? Up oh, there he is. I think he's heading home now. All right. Well, we'll wait for him to come back. How's this colony going? Pretty nice. Oh, my God. We're hitting 70 a year. Uh, God bless that colony event that we got. That is just beautiful. It's only 60 on this one. Damn those tropical tiles. That's just always a pain. Always a pain. Uh, buildings. Marketplaces. More trade power. I think that would be a good thing to do. Ha. Do I want to, though? <laughs> I mean, I really should. I mean, trade is important for me. I've got a decent little bit of trade going. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, pop one down here. All along this coast. And Why can't I get Ben in? There we go. And one more. Two more. There we are. Excellent. We're down to 15 gold. <laughs> and I used a lot of Diplo points on that too. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to use that many Diplo points. Oh, I want that embassy. <laughs> oh, oh, well. C'est la vie. Provincial unrest. That's... The Beninese Nationalists, they're staying at nice at 70, and the Luangoni Nationalists, they seem to have given up. They were at 80, now they're down to 20, so that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm paused. Let's unpause. There we go. Still, though, what the hell? What the hell? 208 months. I, oh, God. I, I really just, I don't get it. I really, really don't. But, oh, well, c'est la vie. We had all those animus provinces that weren't so bad to convert. Why are these shamanist ones so much more difficult? It's not even like it's a hugely high tax-based province either, so I, I honestly don't understand this. 
Oh boy, oh boy. I'll just let it be for now. We'll have a little political instability from not being relig no, having religious unity, but oh well. Oh, Messina, you started off doing well in that war, but no, no, now you've lost. You've got one province taken by Songhai, one province taken by Jene, one province taken by Mali. You are screwed, my friend. Oh, what's, um, what's all this? Holy crap, Air, why aren't you calling me into this war? I could be helping you right now. Ha. Huh. Seriously, why didn't they call me into this war? It was a defensive war. We could be stomping these guys right now. Holy crap, you are not doing well. Do you have any soldiers left? I think their entire military is dead. Hold on, hold on. It is. Their entire military has been killed. They're building one mercenary unit. Oh my god, why? Why, Air? Why in the world did they not call me in? That is the damnedest thing. Uh, Crimea, okay. Why is that? Oh, because I have a, a second leader out. Okay, I should actually take one of these guys. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's go with the land maintenance modifier. Make my military cheaper. There we go. I've got the money to do it. And you! Time for you to head south. Uh, bum, 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 bum. No, no, no. Um, no, not Panama. Brazil. Brazil is what we want you to do. So go down south. Holy Roman Empire. New Emperor. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, seriously, Air. Why did you not... Uh, did they just end the war? Yep. What was the war over? <laughs> I mean, I honestly don't understand that. They didn't even take any provinces. Look at all that. Their, their borders didn't change. Was it just like a war of supremacy or something? Huh. That is the damnedest thing. Now I wonder if we declared war, would those allies join in still? They would. I was hoping maybe they'd have, like, too much uh, war exhaustion. And air still... W oh my god, look at that now. <laughs> oh my god, they're 158 in debt. I chose the wrong ally. <laughs> oh, yay, the Brazil current. Benign neglect. Okay, so what do we have here? 100% trade power. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, big tax modifier. Is this just for one province? <laughs> local tax modifier, yes. Okay, our uh, 100 local manpower increase. I'm going to go with the tax modifier. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Well, he's going nicely south, excellent. Exploring more things. Oh, poor air. You are so screwed. <laughs> Can I declare war on them just for, you know, to help you out? No. <laughs> I have no reason to. Ah, that uh, seriously, why didn't they call me in? That is the weirdest thing. Yeah, I think I chose the wrong ally. <laughs> Hi Portugal. You you still like me, right? I mean, your you, your neutral opinion? That sounds nice. Neutral's good. Oh, Castile made a colony. Ah, well, we're going to go to war with you at some point. <laughs> oh, and these are Portuguese ones over here. Damn. And it's annoying. We are going to have to go south, I assume. Uh, but yes, I am actually going to end... Oh, hello. They declared war on Joloff again. <laughs> Fair enough. Pause that. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a good point in the episode. I just, I keep getting lost in these episodes. And I, you know, I look over at my timer and I'm like, oh, my God, it's, we're already at a half hour. So, okay, yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Not a whole lot happened today. Mainly a lot of housekeeping. We did some good exploring. Discovered that Portugal has been a busy bee up here. Castile now joining in. Oh, boy. That's going to be interesting. And Air, we discovered, is an absolute crap ally. Ugh, God, we're probably going to dissolve that. Oh, they like me now, though. <laughs> they just have a defensive attitude rather than hostile. Oh, my God, you are screwed, Air. Uh, but, yeah, things are going well. I think in the next episode, uh, we're going to go to war with Congo again. 
I don't know why, but I kind of want to. I honestly have no reason, but, you know, it'd be nice to see another war. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and, of course, that you come back for the next episode when we may or may not attack Congo. We'll have to see. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.